Reports of family violence in Singapore have increased by more than 20% in the past month since the start of the circuit breaker. Police say the offences include criminal force and assault. Support offered to victims is being strengthened, but as Nisha Rahim reports, more help is needed. The feeling of being beaten up by iron rod, by all the sting. That's when Noreen Zulkarnain knew she had to seek help. The 40-year-old was trapped in an abusive relationship for over 10 years before she sought help from a social service agency. She later filed a personal protection order against her ex-husband. The mother of twins says taking the first step is hard, but it is necessary to get timely intervention. The circuit breaker, everyone's at home. You know, the stress, they are very stressful. And because they're there for five days and at home, I can feel the tension. Imagine those, the, the abuser, you know, the victim, how they feel. My advice to them is that, you know, sometimes... We, we choose to be silenced. But when they instigate, we have, every one of us have a breaking point. Family violence is on the rise here. According to the police, there were 476 reports of family violence during the first month of the circuit breaker. This is a 22% increase compared to before. Currently, the police assess and refer the victims to family service centres and crisis shelters. Centres like Feuillier will then check in and establish safety plans for them. Since the circuit breaker started, its five branches have seen an increase of almost 10% in domestic violence-related inquiries. We will just check in with the last uh, one example is checking with the last incident that happened and we want to see uh, how, uh, how was the injury, to what extent was the, uh, the violence so that we can assess whether it's high, medium or low. Uh, because it's important if let's say it is high, uh, then and if we reckon that uh, or we assess that it's not safe for the victim to stay at home, then we need to arrange shelter immediately. Crisis shelters like Casa Rauda Women Home has also seen a near 20% increase in inquiries seeking refuge. The group has called for the community to look out for signs of family violence and ensure immediate help is given. We all know it is not a private affair, but social problems affecting the community in one way or another. And the only way to tell the perpetrators otherwise is for the community to stand forward and say no to the act of violence. Feye and Kasarauda Women Home are part of the 21-member task force against family violence set up in February. The task force is spearheaded by the Home Affairs Ministry and Social and Family Development Ministry. One of its aims is to look at ways to speed up the intervention process by assisting victims to obtain a personal protection order or PPO quickly. This will restrain the perpetrator from continuing the act of violence. We can tighten the communication uh, amongst SSAs, police and the court so that timely uh, enforcement of the PPO or EO breaches can be taken immediately to deal with any imminent danger. The task force conducted its first meeting last month. Recommendations are expected to be submitted to the relevant ministries within a year.